Hey everyone, it's John and we've got Megan here today and welcome to the channel. If you've never been to the channel before, we are a reselling power couple. Maybe not power couple, but we are a reselling couple who makes a full-time living flipping stuff on eBay and making really good money, especially for where we live and what I like to call uh, affectionately the armpit of the nation. So we have some items to pull today and I have a few subjects that I want to talk about. So we're going to get to it right after the intro. Okay guys, the first item that we sold here, it's actually on Megan's account. It's the account that we use to get rid of our stuff that we buy for our family. Um, we sold a set of Nike cleats here. Do you know how much they sold for? I think about eight bucks plus shipping. Not too bad. It, probably we bought them for the boys to play soccer and now we're just trying to liquidate some of that stuff and uh, you know, get it gone. What better way to do it than on eBay? Okay, guys, the next item that we sold is this really furry uh, Chewbacca mask. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, that's so neat. Uh, how much did we sell it for? Uh, $24. May the force be with you. Okay, we've sold another car part. It's a little lens. How much did it sell for? 10 plus shipping. That's not too bad for a little piece of glass. Um, we are getting close to the end of all that stuff. There is another car part auction that I might be going to. Uh, it's either the last part of this month or the beginning of the next month and uh, it's going to be an auto parts store that went out of business so there might be some really good stuff uh, coming from there uh oh cha-ching okay this was a neat little tool that I picked up I didn't know what it was worth but I didn't pay much for it at all I paid a couple bucks for it but it was a tool set for a bicycle wheel how much did it sell for 55.75 plus shipping could you imagine that this little box right here sold for 55 bucks that's awesome. The next item that we got here is a couple of Fram oil filters. They sold for eight bucks plus shipping. Okay, guys, this is one that was uh, kind of elusive. We had to try to find it, and we sold it for ten dollars plus shipping. It is a St. Louis Area Council Boy Scout patch. This actually goes on the chest. It hangs off of the button on your shirt pocket. So, how cool is that? Those are. Always good finds. Uh, the best Boy Scout patches that you can actually buy are the stuff that's probably 1950 and older. Some of the 1960s stuff can be really good, uh, especially from like major camps or from area councils that are no longer uh, in existence. So there you go. Little Boy Scout, little Boy Scout, Boy Scout stuff. Okay, guys, the next item that we sold here is this really cool Valvoline hat. It has the original tag with it, good shape, nylon. How much did it sell for? Eleven plus shipping. Ah, eleven dollars. That's that's uh that's uh cheaper than an oil change at Valvoline. How you doing? How much does that one sell for? Sixteen plus shipping. Holy cow, we made a bunch of money. Sixteen plus shipping. Let me see it. Ooh, I love that. That's a blue card. There's a little crease in it, but we will uh we'll make we made pretty good money off that. We uh have already got all of our money back off of the hot wheel buy that we did, so this is just a little bit of gravy. Okay, the next item that we sold here is a lot of Panasonic micro cassettes. How much did they go for? 20 plus shipping. Yeah, anytime you find little micro cassettes like these in the original packaging, they are definitely worth picking up because they make a little bit of money on them. The next item that we sold here is a lot of like of the series of Doc Martin. Um, it is, I think it's a BBC series or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I've never heard of it before, so I don't know how good of a TV show it is. Um, but how much did they sell for? 15 plus shipping. Ooh, who's the prettiest lady in this basement? That'd be you. I'm the only lady in this basement. Okay, guys, this was a buy that I recently made. It was a bunch of comic books. There were actually four long boxes and a long box contains about 300 comics we sold or we i bought the four long boxes for 175 bucks i don't know a lot about comics so i just took a chance on them and yeah i i'm gonna do good i think that the total that i had came up with i still have probably about another two dozen comics to list and um Yes, uh, I've already calculated about $2,800 worth of listed merchandise. 
and now we've got to pull several sets of comics that we just recently sold. Most of this stuff, I was at a loss because most of it was from the early 2000s. The person who collected all of these collected them from about 2001 to 2005. And I was under the uh, impression that that stuff was a lot of junk. But I pulled out a first appearance of Cable. I pulled out a couple of other first appearances. Uh, Savage Dragons, like 107. It's worth 100 and something dollars. Uh, when I go home, I'll show you guys some of the really cool comic books that I pulled out of here. And uh, But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull the books that we sold. And we'll show, you to, we'll show them to you once we get them all pulled. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have a lot of the New Mutant or the New X Men comic books. Then we have the Savage Dragon. We have the Shaolin Cowboy. This is a neat series. It's missing a couple of them. It's red, white, and black. The Truth series. Um, and then we have this New Mutants uh, that is we sold for we sold this for five. How much did the Shaolin sell for? Twenty-five. Plus Twenty-five shipping. plus shipping. The Truth sold for seventy plus shipping. Seventy plus shipping. Savage Dragon. Thirty plus shipping. Thirty plus shipping, and that was seventy plus shipping as well, right? The New I Mutants. Think so. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And these are all of the comic books that we have. That we've uh, trying to see if I can find. There's some Punisher. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Age of Apocalypse. A lot of Image comics. Uh, some Mary, Mari, uh, I don't even know how you say that, but Marvel, um, there's one in here that's worth, I got that set listed for like 90 bucks, a hundred bucks or something like that. There's some good stuff. Here's some of these Invincible comics. Those sell really well. Some of the lower run prints of those sell really well. There's just some amazing, <laughs> amazing Spider-Man. There's some amazing stuff in here. Here's something that's kind of cool. It's the Rob Zombie that was kind of cool uh just a bunch of really good stuff uh if you're interested in seeing what all i have listed you can actually go uh, click the link below and go to our uh, ebay site and you can see everything that we have listed so pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video Okay guys, what you just seen was a pickup. What we have done with our eBay store is we have taken most everything on our eBay store and we have made it a local pickup available. And we wanted to see if we can improve some of our sales and uh, we just sold a $117 Nintendo Wii and uh, local pickup. How cool is that? We actually have, what we do is we have them print out the QR code and then they slide it under the door because right now we're doing no contact pickups. Uh, slide it under the door. All I have to do is scan that little QR code and it is delivered. So that's pretty cool. We're going to scan it right now and we're going to show you how that works. Okay, so on the phone, you click on the item and it'll bring up the item that was sold. They'll say scan to confirm pickup. You click on that and then all you have to do is come over here and scan that QR code and it shows it as um, picked up. There you go. Item picked up. Yep. Item picked up. Just that easy. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty neat. And we left the item out back. We have a guy that's next door to us who's a tax accountant, and he always leaves us with these boxes. So we just put the item in the box, and they pick it up. Just that easy. What do you guys think about that? Would that be something that you would personally do, or um, do you think it's just too much work? Uh, I don't mind for, like, really expensive items, so it worked out pretty good. 
Okay, everybody, this is day two on this video. Uh, you just see that we did the pickup for the guy, and uh, now we're gonna go through, we're gonna do really quick, we're just gonna go through and show you the items that we sold today. Uh, well, since the yesterday. So we're going to turn this camera around and Megan's going to talk to us about some of these items. Uh, we have these shoes here. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice. Those were the uh, Nikes that we got. I think we sold them for like, what, 50 bucks? 50 plus shipping, yeah. And then she sold a pair of shoes on her account. Yeah, these were actually just left in our building. They were here when we bought it, and I've just yeah. been slowly selling through them. Right. And they sell for ten bucks. So yeah, they're I'll they're they're, they're like they look like older they're shoes. They're like little clogs. Yeah, that's it's kind fine. of hard to see with yeah. that, but they're 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 sealed in there. But yes, yeah, actually mules. That's mule. what they are. Mules. Mules. And we sold this little. Um, pea banana thing i don't know why do people buy weird stuff it's apparently from toy story yeah we sold it for like what something. eight bucks or something 10, plus, 10 shipping. plus shipping then we've got this picture here this actually sold on macari i've told you guys many times that it's just worth setting up your account on macari uh that way sometimes this stuff comes through and sells and this sold and how much did it sell for it was around 40 with shipping yeah so Macari is definitely worth uh, using. You, your stuff just uploads over there automatically. There's a link below. You're thinking of Bonanza. Bonanza. Bonanza, because that sold all Bonanza. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that was Bonanza. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. That was a Bonanza item. Scratch everything I said about Macari. <laughs> that was a Bonanza item, and I have a link below that you can sign up for Bonanza, and we will both get bonus points, and you can use those bonus points to turn in for all kinds of neat stuff through Bonanza. And what Bonanza does, it'll automatically upload your items to their uh, their their page, their their uh, their website. You just list it on eBay, and they automatically import it. They'll import all your items over there automatically. And I'm telling you, people, I'm telling you. If you just make two or three more sales a month off of there, it goes directly into your PayPal. If you like that, that's a bonus. And you just, uh, you just, if you're not, you're missing out. If you don't agree with me, let me know down below. But if you're not listing on Bonanza, you're missing out because you're technically not even listing. I can't just stress this enough. It lists for you. It takes your items and puts it on their website for you 100%. Once you set it up, it's hands free. All right, just just go do it, people. Just go do it. <laughs> okay, the next item that we have here is it's some Thomas Trek like risers. Yeah, it was part of the boys, one of their sets. Okay, how much did it sell for? Eighteen plus shipping. Oh, see, that's pretty good. What's what, what item you want to talk about next? Uh, we we got, got that. Oh, we yesterday sold those for what six six piece. bucks shipped. That sold for I think about six or seven shipped. shipped. And then we've got the poker chips. Yeah. And how much did they sell for? I think 38. Yeah, we almost took an offer on them for how much? 20. Yeah, so we got we procrastinated and forgot to accept the mm -hmm. offer, so and that it worked expired. out. Expired. Yeah, so we made another 18 bucks because we procrastinated. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got some, we've got a mosquito headset here. We it's like six bucks. Six bucks. Yeah. yeah, had that for a while. Yeah, and then we've got whatever this That's is. That's a bobblehead. Oh, it's, it's that female WNBA. Yeah, the, yeah W. Candace Dupree. Yeah, so it sold for like how much? Twenty six dollars. I know, shipping. and I think what do we pay for it? Five. Yeah. Five or maybe even half that. If it yeah, was it might have been that half price when, when the guy had. We yep. had a, we have a couple car parts. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's any price there that's really worth. I mean, there's probably. This one was sixteen. For that's shipping. nice. Yeah. That's not too bad. And this one was actually twenty-seven. Oh, so. nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. And then we have a chisel. Yep. It sold for about nine plus shipping. Not too bad. And then we have a lot of comics here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the Young Avengers. That's a key issue. Batman with Poison Ivy and uh, Catwoman, I believe. We have the first Venom comic book there with the foil cover. We have Amazing mm -hmm. Fantasy number seven. I can't remember. I think it's the first appearance of Scorpion or something like that. I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure. Maybe, yeah. Uh, and then we have Spawn number two. How much did the... Uh, how much did they... Let's see. This one was 26 plus 4 shipping. Nice. Then we have... This one was 35 plus nice. 4 shipping. Um, 14 for the spawn plus shipping. Okay. Venom was 31.30. Yeah. Plus shipping. And Batman was 30.64 plus shipping. That's awesome. That's, that's fantastic. Comic books are bucks. So if you can find them and if you can get them cheap... 
there's websites out there. I need to do a video on that. Websites out there to help you do research on these comic books. Maybe that'll be in my, one of my next videos. I'll do a video on how I research the value of comic books besides using eBay. Uh, there's a website that I use that shows me what issues in a run are the key issues. And that works out really well. I guess Pig said, I'm going upstairs. And then the last item that we have here is Bobby Walmack's greatest hits. And how much did it sell for, Francis? $9.75 plus shipping. Woo! Thank you very much, Bobby, wherever you're at. Appreciate you very much. Mr. B6000, yeah, you know his name. He changed it once or twice, but I think it's it.